Hello, and uh, today I'm going to um, make a tutorial about using these JDY31 SPP Bluetooth modules, uh, which are meant to be uh, HC05 and HC06 compatible devices. One important thing is uh, you'll see if I turn this uh, device um, this way around, uh, the number of pins are in fact completely different to the HC05 and 06. This only has um, 20 something pins. So here's a table showing the differences between the JYD31 and the HC05 Bluetooth modules. As you can see uh, on the left, the antenna is half the size of the HC05 module. Also, when you turn the device on, um, the JYD31 is automatically in AT mode, uh, accepting AT commands, whereas the HC05 needs to be uh, triggered by the enable uh, pin 34 or the use of the um, button um, in the uh, top uh, right of the uh, of the um, uh, device. Um, also, one eight, once AT mode is initiated, there is no uh, external sign on the uh, uh, JYD31, whereas you get a two-second uh, flash, um, a slow flash on the HC05. So all the sketches in this tutorial use this same um, configuration for the Arduino and the Bluetooth module. You can see the RX and TX pins are connected to um, 10 and 11 of the Arduino and then power comes from the ground and 5 volts um, supplies here um, with no voltage dividers. Okay, so I found uh, this JDY31 um, data sheet it summarizes um, everything about this uh, um, microprocessor. And you'll see this section here um, tells you uh, that you can use um, AT instructions uh, uh, through the serial port. So that's what we're going to try and do. So firstly, let's open uh, an Arduino IDE. And this is my uh, very small um, uh, uh, programmer. So we are not connected to Bluetooth. And connect uh, uh, connection is made between pins 10 and 11 um, to the Bluetooth device and is controlled through uh, software serial. Okay, so um, let's upload the code first. Uh, the board rate is 9600 for... Um, uh, for the serial port and also for the um, Bluetooth um, device. So then let's uh, open a serial monitor and we'll follow the commands um, that they say we can use. Hopefully it should work. So the first one it recommends, so firstly you should note that AT, which is recommended on the RC05, uh, does not work. So if I type in AT, nothing happens. It should be AT plus version okay and there we go AT plus version gives us the um, uh, the Bluetooth version uh, we'll follow the other uh, commands now so we have AT plus it gives us the MAC address Okay, so that's the unique MAC address for um, uh, this particular Bluetooth module. We add pin now, it gives us the pin number uh, for the Bluetooth module, and name gives us the uh, name of the, of the um, uh, Bluetooth device, which uh, shows up. Okay. Um, if we scroll further down here, we can look at the board rate. Okay, and uh, what I'm going to do is change the board rate from 9600 uh, to 115200, which is my preference. Let's do that by putting board 8. Um, it's accepted that, so that means it's now in the new board rate. Uh, so we need to um, close this down now, and in order to uh, test the programmer, um, uh, we should um, disconnect and reconnect. So you need to change the Bluetooth board rate um, to um, 115,200. 
amend the sketch and uh, reopen the, uh, well, actually, you don't even need to reopen the Bluetooth mod. I think that should now work. There we go. Okay, you'll notice that there's some aberrations. I think that's something to do um, with the um, uh, serial port being used simultaneously to the uh, uh, software serial. Okay. And if we look at the um, board rate, it should show as eight now. Again, you notice there's an aberration there. If you uh, keep asking, it does improve. Okay. Right then, so uh, next um, we're going to use a um, simple example of um, a uh, Arduino sketch um, that turns on an LED by connecting through Bluetooth. Okay, so that's um, a little bit different sketch. Um, so Bluetooth receiver this time. Close the other one down. And we'll upload this one. That's completed, so we can close this down. And we can close this down. And because um, we're using the uh, Bluetooth interface now, we need to go to settings and turn on our Bluetooth. Let's add the device back in now. So we're connected now. And uh, the first thing to try um, is um, to use the Bluetooth um, terminal, which is a, a Windows program you can download. And you can see it's already found the um, Bluetooth device. So we'll connect up to it. And what we'll do is uh, by typing uh, 0 and 1, we can turn the LED on and off. So let's type in 0. You see the LED has gone off. You type 1, the LED has gone back on. Just over here. And just one more time. Um, 0 for off, 1 for on. Okay. So um, that's the Bluetooth monitor. Close that down. So next, uh, we'll go to Python now. And what we're doing is communicating directly with our Bluetooth device now. Um, so we'll open a Python project. So this, what this does, um, it uh, loads a Bluetooth um, module called Blues. So let's run this. And if you watch, you should see the LED is going off and on. And at the same time, we're getting um, LED on off. Okay. And uh, this should be changing 10 times, so we should see 20, which means we've not missed anything. You notice there's no aberrations in the um, uh, Bluetooth instructions. So um, what we want to do now is see how fast uh, we can get the process to run. So um, this is um, hundredths of a second now. So you'll, you should see a very rapid um, list of things. You, here we go. So 10 pairs, which is 20 um, codes. So it's working perfectly now. So we'll be, we can send 100 instructions per second and get uh, responses back uh, without any loss of fidelity. You may uh, not want to use sockets. You can see this program uses sockets. Um, the other way is to use um, the Bluetooth um, uh, uh, serial ports. Um, and as you can see right now, there isn't a serial port here. So this particular line in the Bluetooth code um, which binds to uh, ports uh, will allow you to um, use the uh, ports instead. And if we run it um, now, and if we refresh the um, device manager, uh, we should see some new ports. Yeah. So you can just program those um, using the um, uh, PySerial library if you wish.